I'm Aaron, and I'm going to demonstrate uh, for you the bi-mode chorus from Ibanez. This is a vintage pedal. I think it's from the 80s, so it has a vintage uh, look to it. The reason that I chose it, I tried a few different, um, different chorus pedals. I didn't think I was a chorus guy, but I needed one, so I tried a few, and um, nothing was really grabbing me until I tried this one. Nothing in my price range, anyway. Until I tried this one, um, I picked it up for a little less than 100 bucks. Um, and uh, it has two choruses, basically, so there's a speed and a width um, knob for both choruses. There's four knobs, two speeds, two widths. So um, I like a swirly sound. I generally use it about like this. clean tone with the chorus It's just a little bit Leslie-ish, um, and, and it's swirly, and uh, let's get on to some other settings. Almost all the way up, the right one almost all the way down. The width of the longer chorus is all the way up, and the width of the shorter one is in the middle. So, here it is. <laughs> I'll put a little reverb on from the from a Purdy uh, tube amps reverb pedal. So uh, actually a pretty credible uh, Leslie, it's not so 80s sounding so much as it is even kind of 60s sounding. So that's one of the things I like about this pedal. Um, it doesn't, even though it's from the 80s, to me it doesn't immediately place you in the 80s. You can set it that way or not. So for this example, um, I threw in the Sparkle Drive mod, um, which is a great overdrive pedal. Um, and I think the overdrive and the texture that the overdrive adds helps you hear um, the chorus a little better. So, my dry tone, my dry tone, chorus, this one I have it more subtle with slower, um, slower speeds. Both of the choruses are actually at the slowest speed. One of them's at maximum width and one of them's down a bit. So, with the overdrive, you can just hear, you can hear the swirling, you can hear the changing of the sound, and, and it can be subtle. But uh, just if you have longer notes in a song, longer chords, it can really kind of add some interest. So I'm going to increase the speed on one of the, on the right hand uh, chorus. Just see what that does with the sparkle drive. I should mention I do have the Purdy Tube Amps reverb pedal on. Increase the speed of the left one. Uh -huh. 
Now to my ear, we're getting into 80s territory there, um, for sure. Um, or shoegazy type of stuff. <laughs> like to space out um, and just play guitar or, or if you're doing some huge chords you know um, this pedal can definitely go to that territory as well let's try both or all four knobs straight up just for fun Getting back into Leslie territory a bit, but uh, we'll do the um, we'll do the overdrive. So um, I find that this, the, the, the controls on this pedal are quite interactive. Most of what you can get out of it is actually quite pleasant. Um, kind of undulations and uh, just kind of textural things. Um, but for the last setting I'm going to do here, I've just done kind of an extreme uh, setting. It's a little bit Leslie-ish. One of the more... Um, not non-pretty settings on this thing, but you can get so much prettiness out of it. Um, I highly recommend it if you like a, a, a pretty chorus sound. But here it is, uh, a little dirtier. So this is without the sparkle drive. <laughs> So it picks up on uh, overtones, and uh, it's kind of cool that way when it's extreme like this. Um, I've got the the depths all the way up on both, and then I've got one fast, uh, quite fast chorus on the left, and, and the other one all the way slow. Uh, so uh, here it is doing some Stranger stuff. <laughs> Okay, so uh, another cool feature of this pedal, which I had never tried before, is the uh, the second output. So there's out, and then there's a inverted out. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's not an A. That's a little arrow. So this is truly off the cuff. I am trying this for the first time. And what that is, is a, it's a stereo, uh, a stereo out. So you get a stereo swirl on this pedal. 
Um, so I have two amps set up, two amps mic'd, and it's this is really fun. <laughs> The sound is, is pretty monstrous. Uh, here it is with the sparkle drive. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I'm going to try some different settings with the knobs and see how that affects things. This is with both speeds slow and both widths uh, very high. I've tried it with the left one uh, with the speed and width all the way up or close to all the way up and the other one slower and less wide. So here they are. Now I've reversed the two, same settings, but on the different knobs, just to see what that sounds like. It sounds pretty awesome uh, in this room. <laughs> This is with both uh, speeds slow and the width of one high and the width of the other one low. interested to listen to this on uh, headphones and just see what the stereo effect is doing um, but even just having another output to feed another amp or another line of effects or something like that um, would be is a really cool feature of this pedal so once again I do recommend it so thanks for watching um, it's a cool pedal the Ibanez uh, by mode chorus probably going to be an eBay uh, thing or if you've got a shop that um, carries vintage things. I did find this one in a shop um, and I do recommend it if you can pick it up for a decent price. Uh, it's a great chorus pedal. Thanks for watching. Oh.